everybody. I am at Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church in Dunedin, where the dance and circus arts of Tampa Bay is getting ready to do a Cirque-type show this weekend. And when I arrived this morning, Devin here says, oh, I know who that guy is. He's the one who says, good day, Tampa Bay. Is that really what I sound like? Well, good day, Tampa Bay. More right after this. His favorite show of all time. Oh, sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah. The facts of life? Yeah, I, I like Mrs. Garrett. Girls, <laughs> girls. That's, that's my Mrs. Garrett impression. Girls, girls. Hey, do you guys know what the facts of life? Wait, no, that's a... That's a bad question. It was a TV show. Oh, man, Dave, why are you getting me in trouble? We're hanging out with kids this morning, and I'm asking about the facts of life. It was a TV show. Oh, man, get me out of this. Two days in a row. We're stretching out. We're warming up. We're getting ready for a Cirque-style show in Dunedin this weekend, Fairies, Inc. And here are some of the beautiful fairies here with us this morning. Stick around. I'll tell you all about it when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Girls, girls, stretch out. Well, when last we saw Charlie, he was stretching. He was uh, <laughs> talking to kids, having a big time this Getting morning. Getting all ready in Dunedin this morning. Good morning, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, talking to kids about the facts of life. The old sitcom, the old TV show. Uh, yeah, we are at Our Lady of Our Lady of Lords, Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church, uh, big Catholic church in Dunedin. Beth Breyer is here because you are with Dance and Circus Arts of Tampa Bay, which is a, a very interesting. We've been to your studio before. You, you teach dance, but you also teach circus arts, which is kind of some of the beautiful arts we're seeing around us right now. What are circus arts? Uh, circus arts, what we teach includes trapeze, Spanish web, the tissues, um, hoop, the big hoops in the back, uh, acrobatics, contortion, flexibility. Uh, we don't teach everything, but that's what we do teach. And you have a performance coming up this weekend right here where we're standing. Uh -huh. It's called Fairies, Inc. Yep. Tell it's me Fairies about it. Inc. Yeah. Fa well, Fairies, Inc. It's, about, it's a really ridiculous story. You know, it's just an excuse for us to showcase what we do. Uh, but it's about fairies in fairyland, and, uh, you know, there's a box of shoes, and the shoes come out once a year in spring, and then somebody steals the shoes, and so the whole premise of the show is finding the shoes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like it. My wife would love that show. It's yeah. all about finding shoes. <laughs> um, and it, it is a, a way to showcase uh, the circus arts and what you guys are doing in your studio. Uh, tell me about uh, the performers, yeah. the age range and age. where they come from. Uh, the, the youngest girls in the cast are five. Most of the performers are between seven and 35. Oh. Okay. And then the, uh, the narrator is in her 50s, you know. But, um, yeah. All students of yours? Yeah, they're all students of ours, and they're all, uh, there are more advanced level students. How can I come see the show? Uh, well, it's Saturday at 7 o'clock and Sunday at 2 o'clock matinee. We have two kinds of seating. There's a VIP section where you sit at tables right on, right next to the uh, performance space with hors d'oeuvres and a cash bar. And then we have general admission, which is stadium seating for $15. Very nice. All right, tickets, uh, just buy them at the door? We can, you can get them at the door. You can get them online at brownpapertickets.com or you can call us. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I will tell you that the inspiration behind everything that Beth has done with this whole dance and circus arts of Tampa Bay is right there, stretching on the floor. You will meet her. She's quite the contortionist. For real, that's what she does. You'll meet her a little later as Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Belcher getting positively acrobatic this morning. Yes? Well, I think I think we all remember I've got some trapeze experience. Don't we remember that? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. I, yeah, I, I've, I've been on the trapeze myself, and I will not be going back up there. But these ladies, they know what they're doing. Yes, indeed. Stick around. We'll tell you about the show that they are in this weekend at Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church in Dunedin. A little Cirque-style stuff when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good Day Tampa Bay, I'm Charlie Belcher, coming to you from Dunedin this morning. To be exact, we're at Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church, and I'm hovering, I'm floating in the sky. All right, now I'm, I'm standing on, a, on an old rickety green ladder. Uh, just to get up here to talk to these ladies right here, what's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea and Lucy. Chelsea and Lucy, and you guys are going to perform a little trapeze thing for us here. How long have you been participating in the dance and circus arts of Tampa Bay? Three years. Yeah. 
I'm about eight years. Really, eight years? And what, and what got you into wanting to do this instead of just like ballet or jazz or dance to get into the circus arts? Um, circus Soleil, really. I saw a show and decided that I wanted to learn how to do that. So. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah, really. The Cirque du Soleil just uh, inspired you. So now you're doing a Cirque-style show this weekend here in Dunedin. That's kind of cool. Your career's coming full circle. Yeah, it is. It's really, really great. Good full time. Cirque. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I amazed myself with my own puns. Um, exciting that you get to do this? Oh, yes, most definitely. Great opportunity to do all these things. Yeah. It's tough. It's like, amazing upper body strength. I mean, you guys are intimidating me a little bit. The way you can get up here and hold yourselves. and I mean, people might be surprised how much real, true strength this takes. It does. It does. It's a lot of work. We condition a lot all the time. So, What do you hope to do with this? I know you guys both right, just recently graduated high school. Is that right? I'm or college? In college now, you're yeah. in college and you're... I graduated high school. Graduated high school. Do you guys want to pursue this professionally? For sure, definitely. That That's the end goal. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> there you go. One day you'll be in one of the big Cirque shows out in Vegas or something, or something big. All right, so show us a little bit. Let me get out of the way here. And you guys, uh, show us a little bit of what you guys can do. And this is what the, the show will demonstrate. Obviously, we're just kind of doing it for demonstration purposes this morning. But this weekend, you have the costumes, the lights, and the, and the music, and it, it's fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, the show is Saturday night at 7 or Sunday at 2 matinee. And it's really wonderful. These, It's a, a charming, enchanting show. Perfect. Thank you very much. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Nicely done, ladies. Nicely done. Well, no, no, don't look at me. You got to concentrate on what you're doing. That's good. All right. All right. Laura and Russell, hey, do I look thinner looking up? Yeah, I like John, John. Yeah, John Wright's going to stay up there from now. I think he's always going to shoot me this way. I like it. I like Forever? It. Thank Back you for being It's that. good. It's, it's good. <laughs> See you later, you Charlie. Thank you. Charlie, Tom Berenger, right here, right now. How cool is that? Dude, dude, so cool. My favorite Tom Berenger movie, one of them at least, Shattered. 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 If you haven't seen Shattered, Shattered. Uh, rent it. Rent it. Yep. Get it on Netflix. Shattered. Like Good movie. Film. Look at that. There we go. I was kind of like interviewing Tom Berenger for a second there. <laughs> That's cool. All right, well, we got stars in the making right here. Stars of a different sort. Stars that contort. What am I, Dr. Seuss now? Stick around. More good day. Tampa Bay. And she kicks me in the head. Watch out, she says. Right after this. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. I'm at Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church this morning in Dunedin, where the dance and circus arts of Tampa Bay will be performing a show they call Fairies, Inc. this weekend right here. And we're going to talk to some of the performers, like Devin here. Devin, how old are you? Nine. Nine years old. And how long have you been doing this sort of thing? Um, since I was five or six. Man, you took like, pretty much your whole life. Yeah. Yeah, you've devoted to this. Yes. Yes. And why do you like this so much? Because it's fun and you get a great workout and it's like you, once you start doing it for the beginning, like you're sore like after a few days, but then you just totally get used to it and it's fun. It's a good, instead of like sitting there on the, in front of the TV. Yeah, it beats yeah. sitting in front of the TV, right? Yeah. Although you look kind of comfortable, we could turn on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> so what is this you're on? What is this called? Um, this is just a sitting position in, um, no. foot walks. So. But what is this, uh, what is this, uh fabric and it's like cloth. So. Sometimes the answers are as easy as you think they would be. All right, well, you do your thing there, Devin, and we'll slide over here. What's your name? Haley. Haley, how old are you? Nine. And how long have you been doing this? Eight months. Eight months. And what, what, did, uh, I'm not going to ask any more dumb questions. <laughs> yeah, right. This is a rope, right? Uh, yes, it's, it's a Spanish web. Spanish web. Very cool. And so you're going to twist and turn and uh, be all acrobatic? Yep. Good for you. It, it takes a lot of upper body strength, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Can, can, I, can I feel your bicep? <laughs> yeah, it, oh, my goodness. Wow. 
That's tough. All right, you do your thing over there, Haley, and we'll come over here, get everybody out. What, what's your name? What? Well, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, we're sitting right here. What, what's your name? Megan. Megan, how old are you? Nine. Just stay over here, Megan. Uh, and uh, how long have you been doing this? Um, this is my second year, but I've been doing tumbling for about four years. Very good. And you, you like it, huh? Yeah. Very cool. All right. And, and lastly, oh, this is perfect. Hi, what's your name? Kendra. Kendra, how old are you? Ten. Ten, and how long have you been doing this? Eight months. Eight months? Well, now, are you ever scared? Because you look straight down and all I see is a gymnasium floor. I'm a little worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you, you sure you're not scared? Sure. Yeah? Because if you fall now, you're fine. I got you, okay? Okay. All right. What exactly is your job? <laughs> My job is to uh, keep them spinning and to give uh, the right amount of tension on the Spanish web. Yeah. Oh, all right, well, sorry, one, one last interview over here, and you're, you're in. You guys are also in the show as well. Yes, we are. Yeah, and the show is this weekend. The show is this weekend. It's very exciting. How long have you been studying the circus arts? I've been doing this for a little over a year. Awesome. More from Fairies, Inc. in Dunedin when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. First, Charlie Belcher is getting all tangled up. Good morning to you, Charlie. Absolutely. Stick around, because you guys are going to meet Katie. Katie is a contortionist. A contortionist by trade. That's what it says in her business cards. Katie, contortionist. But she has also inspired a whole new generation of circus arts. I will tell you how that inspiration came to be in just a bit on Good Day Tampa Bay. But first, Dave Osterberg, you can do stuff like that too, can't you? Absolutely not. In fact, that... Cirque du Soleil, you know, it started it all. It's the original. Yeah, but Charlie's with some kids this morning doing their own thing. They got their own version of this, right, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, Katie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Katie Pretzel? is a contortionist. And I, I, I can only assume Katie spells contortionist with a K. Do it. Like, Do it. Like, Katie. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, be right. careful. You're, you're be like careful. You're a swan, really, Charlie. Stick around. <laughs> Stick around, Katie and I will show you how it's done. <laughs> I'm already hurting. <laughs> Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. We're in Dunedin this morning. We're at Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church, which is where the Dance and Circus Arts of Tampa Bay will be performing their show, Fairies, Inc., this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. So uh, check it out. It's going to be very cool. Katie is part of the show. Katie Breyer. And you are an inspiration. In, in many ways, you could say you're an inspiration for this show. Because without Dance and Circus Arts of Tampa Bay, the show wouldn't exist. And without you, Dance and Circus Arts of Tampa Bay would not exist. Because your mom started that whole thing because of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And back to you. No, uh, it was, that was it, though. When you were, you were just a kid, right? You were 10 years yeah. old, and um, you... I was 10 and I saw somebody do a contortion position. I was like, I can do that, no problem. And so I just kept doing it. Watched videos and I taught myself and then my mom helped me and then we started putting like circus style acts in the recitals and then it just built from there. Yeah, now your mom's got a, a great uh, little academy, little yeah. school going on over there, all because of, of you. And now you're out in San Francisco trying to do this uh, for a living full time. I do this. Well, I don't mean... I mean <laughs> I'm not trying to insult you, but I mean, your, your goal is to get into one of the big shows one day. And you're, you, but you still got a day job in the coffee shop once in a while. So but, you, but you are. You're getting paid to do this corporate gigs, and uh, you're a contortionist. Are, are you, do something for us. Contort. Contort, Katie. Contort. Um, there you go. Now, how, how long do you have to warm up to get into something like this? I warm up for, uh, if I have classes or I'm training, I do about an hour. If I have shows, I do about 20 to 30 minutes. And so if you get like a corporate gig or something, you're just kind of paid to contort and for like a party or a, or a banquet kind of thing? I'm paid to do this. Paid to hang out. Do some contortion. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Now, uh, and so how crazy and uh, twisted up do you get? Uh, I do... I do a pretty good amount of stuff. I do a lot. I'm just, I can't do it today because right. we have rehearsal later, but... Right, you're not fully do, warmed up. Okay. Yeah, I usually do lots more and, you know, lots of extra stretches and over stretches and putting my butt on my head and all that stuff. That's important. <laughs> what uh, I usually put, it's usually the other way around for me. I put my head there. Uh, what, uh, how long can you hold this? Uh, probably like two minutes. Two minutes? Well, let's find out. Uh, the show, uh, the show uh, tickets are available. You can buy them at the door or you can go to Brown Paper... 
brownpapertickets.com uh, and tell me just a little bit about the show quickly. Oh my gosh, rolling here. Okay. Uh, it's awesome. There's lots of fairies. There's contortion. There's acrobatics. There's people really high up in the sky flying and falling in good ways. And... Music, costumes, cool music, lights. Music, costumes, awesome makeup, awesome hair, awesome lighting. A lot of really cool stuff. So I'm dying to do this. If I just push you, will you follow her? <laughs> Sorry, I was just dying to do that. Yes, yeah. Good job, good job, Katie. Thank you very much. Good luck with the career. I know, it, I know you're, you're, you'll just do better and better and better. Huh? You're doing it. You're doing it. You're gonna do it even more out in San Francisco. We'll look for you a uh, headlining in a Cirque du Soleil show one day down the road. Watch my face. We'll watch for your face. You kind of got a, a, a pink thing. You could understudy pink too, and she's doing her some of her. You got a pink thing going. Yeah. All right, there you. There you go. Uh, it's this weekend. We'll put the information at myfoxtimbay.com in case you want to come out and see Fairies, Inc. this week. And uh, Laura, can you do any of this stuff? Wow, no. No, apparently neither can you, Charlie. I, <laughs> Katie was impressive. That was awesome. She's she did good, that man. whole She's interview. Good. She's good. She's very good. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Charlie, thank you.